I want to show you three different inexpensive mini quad frames here. These are all uh, under $50 and you can buy them on Banggood, eBay, um, Good Luck Buy, places like that. And um, they each have sort of their own special features that I'll show you. Uh, let me start with one of these two, which if you're in the mini quad market, it should look pretty familiar to you. This is the ZMR250. I've already got the wiring harness in here, as you can tell. And it's sandwiched between the bottom plate, or the two bottom plates. Um, this would run you about between $20 to $35, depending on where you buy it and what version you buy. This is actually not carbon fiber. I think it's a top carbon fiber layer with um, fiberglass in the middle. And you can find that out by just doing a continuity test to see if see if this is conductive. And this is not. Um, the arms are three millimeters and the body plates are one and a half millimeters. Aluminum standoffs. Pretty good quality. This is basically a, uh, a blackout club. Okay, the next one is this one. There's a couple different names for this. This one I <clears throat> I bought. This is called um, Kim Pro or Kim 250 Pro. Um, there's some other names, but most of them have 250 Pro in the name. This, as you may be able to tell, is a QAV 250 knockoff. QAV 250 clone. The main difference between this and the QAV 250 is the real QAV250 have the arms and the bottom plate of one piece of carbon fiber. This is not. These are separate pieces. And also this is not carbon fiber either. This is fiberglass with a carbon layer on top. Makes it a little bit heavier, but it's actually, it's not too bad. Between these two, they're pretty comparable in weight. Although this one already has the wiring harness and this one doesn't. Um, I don't have the scale to tell you exactly what it is right now, but uh, maybe in another video I'll do that. The arms are really beefy, five millimeters. And then the bottom frame plate is two millimeters with this little bottom plate right here that sandwiches the arms in being at one and a half mil and the top one being at one and a half mil. There's little aluminum spacers you can see because down here, like a QAV 250, you're supposed to put your ESCs down below. And unlike a QAV 250, this is not a distribution board. You have to run your own wiring harness. And you can see that this space back here is exposed. So you can run your battery in here or your antenna. Uh, this is wider. The body is noticeably wider than the ZMR250. The standoffs, aluminum standoffs, are the same height. Uh, these are just little nylon PCB standoffs that I bought. That's going to be for mounting the flight controller. And both of these have um, Mobius plates on these uh, rubber dampers and size wise this is technically also a 250 but it is noticeably wider by a little bit it's wider this way and it's longer this way Okay, so that's the ZMR250 Kim 250 Pro. Now let's go to the last one. This one is called the ATG280. And this is, you don't see this one very much. I found it, <clears throat> where did I find this? I think this was on um, 
been good as well. It's interesting because all of the uh, carbon fiber, and this is real carbon fiber. I did a conductive test of the date. They are conductive. Um, this is all carbon fiber, and there's a few different ways to be able to assemble this one. So you've got these, these arms that are one and a half millimeter plates, but there's two of them, and with little standoffs in between. So you sort of assemble them like you would like the body of these two, and they become really rigid, front and back. And it's got an anti-vibration plate for the flight controller and a Mobius camera up here. You can mount them like I've done here to the bottom or you can move it up so these arms go in between the two body plates or you can mount it this way, move it above. What's cool about this one is obviously it's a 280 so it's slightly bigger. Um, so you can run six inch props with ease. You can also, when you run in this configuration, you can run an X8 configuration with eight propellers. You can put a motor here and a motor there and all the way around that'll give you eight. You can have all eight propellers clear of the ground and you can launch it off this way. You just have to figure out a way to sort of build some legs to get it off the ground. And what I would do is I would move the flight controller plate down to this bottom plate and then flip this camera plate around so it's in the middle of the frame. And then you would just have to have, uh, hopefully have enough clearance for the Mobius in here or move the camera somewhere else. So this is interesting. This gives you some really good options and it's light. For 280, this is really light. So that again is the ATG 280. Next to it, the ZMR 250. And over here, the Kim 250 Pro. These are really good options for mini quad frames. All coming at just about 50 bucks or less.